Hey guys, it's Molly and today I have a fun little book haul for everybody. So I did some book shopping this weekend. Um, so I thought that I would show y'all everything that I got. So first I went to Target and I got Things We Hide From The Light. If you saw my book wrap up video of March, I read the first book in this series, which is Things We Never Got Over, and this is the Knock Em Out series by Lucy Score. Um, I loved the first book so much. I think I gave it like four and a half stars. So I decided to get the second one. Also, the physical versions are so pretty. The covers are so cute. I could have just read it on Kindle Unlimited. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. But I really wanted the physical version and I also annotated the other one so much. I knew I'm probably going to annotate this one a lot. So yeah, and I already kind of started it and I love Nash already. So yeah. Okay, next I got Buy a Thread also by Lucy Score. Um, I wanted to pick this one up because I started loving Lucy Score with Things You Never Got Over. And then also uh sarah caroli and destiny sidwell also read these this book and um things we have from the light and sarah caroli loved this book so much and so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it out so yeah okay next i went to barnes on sunday did some like easter book shopping first i got cruel prints oh brutal prints not cruel prints um and this is the brutal birthright series i don't really know much about this series um but i heard what's her name nicole i think rachel maybe i don't know some like book instagrammer that i follow has read this and she said it's really really good i've also just seen it like all over book talk i heard a lot about it for the illustrations, apparently there's like an explicit illustration in this that I saw a TikTok and somebody was like reading this at a bookshop, like at a coffee shop, and there was someone like sitting next to them and they think that they saw it. I don't know where it is. They said it's like in the middle of the book. I don't know. We'll see it when I read this, but yeah. And it's by Sophie Lark. It's the whole like Brutal Birth Arts like a series. I'm really excited. It looks really good and it looks like an enemies to lovers kind of like um it just looks really good. So I think I'll like it. It's like entertaining. It's a romance book, but not just like a straight romance. Then again, like trying to kind of like broaden my horizons a little bit, I got a kind of like historical romance book. This is kind of like Bridgerton. My Barnes and Noble that I go to has like a whole section and it's called like Bridgerton and it's like all of these books kind of these like um is, is this 19th century I don't know like English kind of like royal court a little bit um this is about this girl named Annabelle who this takes place in 1879 England and she is the first female student at Oxford and she's like trying to get the duke um to help champion the rising women's suffrage movement like she's trying to get people to help her and so she wants the duke to help her so this is like this whole book is like her trying to get him to help her right or something i don't know but it's a part of a series and so i kind of like am interested to read the other ones i don't know also the cover is so cute um, next, mm, I don't know when I'm going to read this because I know this book is going to tear me apart, but sometimes I like being sad, so who knows. This is If You Had Been With Me. So I actually, this book I think came out in like 20, 2019, um, and I actually like one of my best friends in high school was obsessed with this book. She was like, oh my gosh, like you have to read this book like it's so good it was when it had the other cover i think uh, maybe is this the same book i think it is the one where it's like the girl in like the drain pipe and she's wearing like the dress i don't know but maybe it's the same one but she was like telling me about it she was like you have to read it it's so good and then i never ended up reading it and then i grabbed it because i've been seeing it all over like book talk and bookstagram lately and i really really want to read it but it's like a ya kind of book and it's about these two like childhood best friends 
but then they kind of like fall apart throughout high school and then there's like a tragedy that happens and it's like apparently it happened to like the beginning of the book and then it like flashes back to like what happens that whole year and then it like actually happens at the end and then you're like oh my gosh I forgot so I don't know I'm excited to read it then I got a Sarah Adams book because I wanted just like a cute little romance this is also so small and short compared to like I've been reading so many long books lately so this will be a fun little like reprieve um I've also been like reading a couple like literary fiction like I just finished a dystopian book and then I was reading like Finding and Keeping 13 before that are very heavy reads um, with length and like content matter. So I think this will be fun. This is about Ray Rose, who is a pop star um, and she like needs like a break. So she tries to do like Roman holiday. So she goes to Rome, Kentucky, which I did not know there was a Rome, Kentucky, Kentucky. But she goes there and she ends up meeting this guy named Noah and it's like a small town romance, like chef lover thing. I don't know. I'm also excited because Sarah Adams has another book coming out in May. Don't remember what it's called, but it looks so cute and I really want to read it. And it's apparently connected to this book because it's about like her bodyguard. So, sorry. I like had mascara under my eyes. Um, so I really want to read this because like that one looks really cute and like it's connected so last but not least I just kind of picked this up because it looked cute and I've also like never seen it anywhere so like you know what why not it's called I Hate You More and it's about this girl named Ruby who was an ex like pageant girl and she gives it up and then gets a dog and then decides to enter the dog in like a dog pageant <laughs> and then there's like an enemies to lovers with the um judge of like the pageant he's trying to get her to like get out of the pageant which i don't really know why oh he's like she's clearly weighing over her head okay mansplainer but yeah so those are all the books that i bought and i hope you enjoy um if you did give a thumbs up subscribe I'm not really good at posting videos because I can never really think of what to post so hopefully I'll post more maybe not I don't know don't get your hopes up but hope you guys enjoyed I love y'all and I'll see you next time bye